I am feel very proud and you know, great uh, being part of this uh, great institution. I am with VIT for the last 13 years, and uh, I have come from a in, with an industrial background. I was with the industry for almost 15 years, and uh, the experience what I gained there uh, is helping me really to you know, mold the IT infrastructure of uh, VIT University. Yes, of course there is pressure, like you know that is only driving us to you know uh, deliver better uh, based on the current uh, need of, uh, of uh, the IT infrastructure requirement. The days have gone where you know people uh, just look at the brand and you know get into the institution. Those days have gone now really. because uh, the children who is coming to the campus are very intelligent and uh, they are they know what they want and you know and what kind of uh, you know uh, infrastructure we have and. Uh, what kind of technology we use in our uh, in our campuses? That is the main differentiator. Like you know, especially when they choose, like you know, whether we have the latest uh, you know, technology which is being used in the trees available in the in the institution, so that you know, during the course of the journey in the four years of VTEC or any other courses, they will get uh, the knowledge of uh, using those technologies and will be industry ready when they go out from the campus. So yes. Technology plays a major role uh, in choosing the campuses uh, than uh, looking at only the name as well as uh, syllabus. Like, and uh, syllabus also, okay, the curriculum also, curriculum also plays a major role in choosing the campuses because uh, you know uh, the parents as well as the students they also look into the in-depth uh, uh, you know, details of the curriculum uh, before selecting a course uh, and before selecting the campus. Yeah, actually, we have uh, very closely working with uh, most of the industry uh, and, and experts in the in, 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 in the in the industries, uh, basically to design our curriculum. Like there, are, there are people on board where uh, we uh, bring their expertise uh, to design the curriculum so that uh, our students get the best of the knowledge uh, when they do their courses in our campus. So we periodically review our uh, syllabuses and uh, we also you know speak to the market leaders to find out what is the relevant technology or the latest technology being used in the, in the industry so that you know we can bring those kind of uh, you know, skills uh, or curriculum in our in our syllabus which will uh, mold the children to be ready for the industry on day one so we are also working closely with uh, many of the uh, technology partners in the, in the market uh, to bring uh, the best of the technology available uh, so that uh, the students can use those uh, uh, their uh, lab resources anytime anywhere or uh, uh, days have gone where you know you uh, go to a lab and reserve your seats and you know uh, wait for that those days have gone today and uh, the way the children also work is uh, different from how we were working in our uh, uh, college days today is not like that today the students are you know more interested in uh, getting into the classrooms as well as in the lab when they feel like going to the lab. And uh, VIT has taken a big lead in uh, you know, bringing those technologies uh, so that our students can use the lab resources anywhere, anywhere anytime. And when they feel like uh, you know, uh, doing their uh, research or uh, you know, their lab work. Uh, we have extended the facility across the campus, even uh, uh, outside the campus also. When they are at home, if they feel like you know, they want to do a project, in a particular tool, these tools are available to them to do their uh, exercises, even on move, right? So these are the facilities currently we are extending to our students so that you know uh, we don't limit their uh, you know, learning uh, 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 environment within a campus. Beyond the campus, we are extending. We extend. EDA is becoming popular in uh, universities for two reasons. One is uh, like you know. Uh, uh, your operational uh, uh, difficulties you can overcome like you know we have uh, especially when it comes to the semester beginning we have to deploy the application in uh, uh, like in a campus like us we have around 4000 plus desktops deployed in the campus and each uh, set of desktop will be needing some kind of application 
and we will have very limited time of uh, time period basically to deploy those uh, you know, tools as well as the limited number of people who work along with me to deploy those tools. So this is becoming a big challenge for us. So VDA is uh, actually like you know helping us to you know deploy this kind of uh, mass deployment in a very 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 quick time. And also, uh, you know, like, you know, the, the consumption of power, like, you know, that is also plays a major role because here, though we are, uh, you know, people are ready to pay, but uh, the scarcity of electricity is becoming more, uh, you know, uh, now. And uh, thereby, you know, bringing this kind of technology brings down our operational cost very uh, you know, drastically. So, you know, so yes, we are, uh, we have deployed around the 500 plus VDAs right now and it's being used by our students extensively and we are in the process of scaling it to, uh, to the greater level. See, the biggest challenge in university is like in corporate, we can normally plan our, uh, make our plans for the next two years or three years and uh, those technology will be used for the next two, three years. But in education, it's a scenario is different. Where we plan something, but you find something else is coming in and we need to go and adopt those technologies. Otherwise, you know, we feel that you know we are uh, almost very far from the technology. Like you know, being a technical university, like you know, we have to get adapted to the latest technology as and when it is launched. That that is the challenge normally as an IT head I you know face. Yes, uh, partners like VMware is uh, definitely helping us. We are associated with VMware for the last almost eight years. And uh, the association is very good and uh, we could leverage the technological ad advantages uh, uh, with this association. Especially, you know, uh, campus like us uh, spread across, across 400 uh, acres where we had servers installed at various locations and managing those kind of servers, storages are becoming very, very uh, challenging task for us. Today we have a uh, data center where we have uh, you know, consolidated all the servers most of the servers are in the virtual form and we could uh, have the complete visibility of our infrastructure and also uh, the team size like you know uh, man management is becoming a challenge today like you know so we also uh, reduce the number of people who are handle this kind of systems uh, by imparting uh, skills in these domains we are really enjoying those uh, advantages now and uh, i would suggest like you know most of uh, us uh, universities like us uh, should uh, go for the latest technology to uh, adopt this the latest technology so that you know our students, our faculties as well as the people like us where we manage the infrastructure uh, will have the benefits and, uh, and our task will become much much uh, even the life will become much much simpler. See, the scenario in university is totally different from the scenario what you see in enterprise. Because here the children are more curious to know what is what and how it works. Maybe they may not be knowing the impact of their action, but uh, you know they are very curious. So that that is why we feel you know uh, IT security is very very important, much more than a corporate and education. Because you know today uh, uh, the entire university is running on an on an our own uh, you know, on an application. So I cannot afford to have any kind of hacking or any kind of downtime or outage in the system. So that is that is my job to ensure that you know the system is available, especially when you have uh, students from uh, India, uh, abroad, and uh, you know uh, from across the world we have students. So uh, so the the demand demand is very very high. Like you know yes availability and uh, the demand of the system is very very high. So it plays uh, you know. Uh, this makes us to be more vigilant and you know uh, uh, to see what's happening and uh, you know and uh, we also do a periodical uh, audit and also see that you know the best of the security systems are in place and uh, especially when it comes to VMware like, like you know during the virtualization we were happy that you know we could adopt uh, VMware NSX technology basically to do the segmentation at the server level at the network level so that you know the servers which is on production and on the lab though it sits in the same data center same uh, infrastructure but there is a segregation between these kind of systems by having nsx in, on board so we are happy for that and uh, we are uh, we also have uh, some of other technologies to protect our application as well as the uh, the, the perimeter level security so those things are in place so yes 
comparing to the enterprise like you know i can very well say that we are also at par the the, the kind of facilities or the kind of uh, infrastructure we have in vit it's almost at par with what we see in today the main uh, uh, no decision which every uh, whether it is an academician or an it manager has to take is like you know the technology will get evolved like we will find new and new new technology is getting evolved and you know and you have to get adapted so there is no way of like you know if you don't adapt it then you are nowhere in the scene so you need to have the courage first of all like you know, there is a risk involved in that because there is huge investment so somebody has to own it so you have to take risk uh, you uh, take the risk own it and see that you know you have a, a smooth sail second thing is uh, you now deploying those uh, you have taken a decision you have to deploy it and you have to make it function another point is like you know uh, like you know see unless we know we will not be able to do anything so we have to get you uh, get to we have to get trained or get to know what is happening around the, around the world so that we can bring those kind of uh, technology in our uh, in our institutions and uh, that will benefit the children Uh, as well as their parents also like you know today the parents are more concerned than uh, the student like you know they wanted to know whether my boy is attending the classes how what is the mark how much they are scoring whether he will he has any backlog so a lot of uh, curiosity is there in among the parents because of all this social media uh, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, inter- interference so they are also more worried about this you know. so end of the day like you know what we need to know what is the expectation of the parents as well as the student we need to understand that and see that how technology can uh, help us in you uh, know uh, addressing those uh, or their needs